Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Daisy. And my name is Ruth. Welcome to the Rooted and Ready podcast by Nainet. Today, hey, wase. Mm. Hey, tukona ule mse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A great, great guy. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, who is joining us this time. <laughs> so guys, put your hands together for the man himself. Tua, pua, 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 pua. Hey. <laughs> please Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well, so my name is Kelvin Odek. Mm-hmm. Uh, born, born again Christian. I love the Lord. Um, what else? What else do you want to know? So what do you do? Mm-hmm. What do I do? Mm-hmm. I'm a pastor uh, for young people. Mm-hmm. I love young people. Um, th- when I see them, they give me joy. And when I refresh, I find it fresh. Yes. Yeah. Even the Oniko. Upon the Oniko. Minimum do maswali. Uniza swali na kujibu na kujibu. Okay. Okay. introduce even the mungu kata interview. Tell us about yourself. Tell us what you want to know about me. What you really want to know? Specify. Wey, lazibu lazibu kwa nini? Kusema hindi utataka kujua. Okay. Lakini sijanguka interview yote. Sijene stacks kia rumors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I love young people. Um oh, maybe I can say this. So, um the other thing I uh, I enjoy doing is riding my motorbike. Oh, okay. Um, nice. Yeah, and also just hanging out with men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the so Men said to hang out to a bigger story, mm-hmm. but just to talk about deep matters mm-hmm. of the heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey, hey, deep yes. matters deep of the heart. heart. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. So even today we are talking about deep matters of, of the, the heart. heart. And our topic today is about mental health and it affecting and how it is in, for youth workers. So mm-hmm. maybe our first question to Pastor Odek is, why is mental health awareness important for youth workers? Why is it important for mm-hmm. youth workers? Mm-hmm. Because... If we don't understand it, <coughs> then how will we, uh, like we're dealing with people who are always going through all these things. Yeah. Um, and it's important for us, one, to understand it and even to know where we are t- as, a, uh, as people who serve young people. Mm-hmm. Because it's easy for you to serve and yet you're a victim of it. Mm-hmm. It's easy for us to be in it and yet you're also <coughs> struggling without knowing. So uh, the awareness is very critical in our different churches that we need to have these conversations mm-hmm. and also re- do research on our own. Because um, again, in the day and age that we're in, uh, we hear this. Mm-hmm. But now it's here with us, mm-hmm. where every like everyone mm-hmm. is struggling. You're either mm-hmm. getting in or getting out, out. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everyone is struggling. Yeah. So the awareness needs to not just be spoken out there, yeah. but it needs to be included in the church mm-hmm. and for people to understand yeah. why this is important, uh, an important conversation to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and maybe on that, like how we are youth workers, we're maybe working together. How would you point out maybe to a fellow youth worker, mm-hmm. you can see them struggling with something. So what are maybe some of the signs that you can see, um, like yeah. identify, like someone is going through maybe a mental health issue. And then how do you approach them? Because, you know, you don't say, hey, I feel like maybe you're mm-hmm. going through some depression. The way you're yeah. looking. The way you're looking, yeah. So how do you approach that and what are some of the signs? I think sometimes it's even change of behavior mm-hmm. in terms mm-hmm. of how people behave. Uh, so when you look at someone who was happy, all of a sudden they're sad. Yeah. Um, someone who used to be very, you know, clean kept and then all of a sudden, you know, mm-hmm. so these are some of the signs that sometimes people check. But also <clears throat> some of the things I've come to realize is when, like for example myself mm. uh there's a time I, I had those moments and some of the things that used to happen was i would either want to be out mm. for a long time mm-hmm. or be indoors for a long time mm-hmm. i'd want to not na hiyo kwa in umefunga curtain kila kitu vitu tu vitu tu zinasonga tu go to like stuck it on mtu and many of us are like that but when i go out um this high person yeah. you're like you're the life of the party yeah. Mm. Yeah. okay yeah. and that's the state we're in as like even youth pa- pastors because in, in fact youth workers are in the most dangerous place because 
there's an expectation where people mm. expect you to mm-hmm. be the the joy yes. when you walk yeah. in mm-hmm. everyone needs to be happy yeah. so sometimes even yourself don't get it mm-hmm. until you in your house or you somewhere you start mm-hmm. realizing the things that are happening mm-hmm. there are thoughts that are running through your mind yeah. and sometimes we need to sit take a step back and ask ourselves where are we at mm-hmm. okay have you assessed mm-hmm. yourself have you assessed your how your mind is and the things you're thinking about uh, because Again, it's not something that you have to now look. Mm-hmm. No one can come and point it out and be like, "You're struggling." Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. because there are people. Maybe someone when you have a conversation and maybe you don't know the signs uh, with a professional, they can tell you, "Okay, I pick this and this." Mm-hmm. But sometimes, if you're someone who is always just happy, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can hide in things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then by the time it's blowing up, it's too late. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Um, You've said two things, that introspection, that sitting with yourself and knowing I'm not okay here. What are some of the trainings that youth workers can have or they can learn so that, number one, they're able to recognize in themselves being, I'll call it being self-aware to know that the way I'm going, I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the trainings that we can have Mm -hmm. or some of the things that we can do that we can be able to catch ourselves sooner before we are in the deeps of it? Again, the beauty of the d- uh, the space you're in now, there are so many avenues. The internet is there. Mm. Um, there, there are always conversations going around. Like, uh, uh, I think September is one of the months that okay. is usually like it's a su- uh, suicide prevention month, mm. where if uh, it's there are so many conversations <coughs> going out mm. of this. But I also think there are tests that people can do. Um, I was having a conversation with. Uh, what, what are they called? Um, there's an organization that does mm-hmm. like gives you a test to do, then you pick. Oh. So as you do them, mm-hmm. then you see the levels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, nice. like this is where you are, mm-hmm. so that it helps you understand where you are as a yeah. person before even going and sharing this continue with the young with the young people mm-hmm. that you serve. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but just being aware of the place you are mm-hmm. and doing research about it, because mm-hmm. again, we never want to do anything. A research based on yourself, mm-hmm. no one wants to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, if, if you. Think think someone will tell you things that it's a kwanika. Everyone is like, why should I sit down and do that for yeah. myself? Yeah. Yeah. But it's important because mm-hmm. you also under- need to understand that you, when you're not in the right in, in the right senses, mm-hmm. then what you're doing is actually you're not helping the people around you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you are serving the young people y- and you're struggling and you don't understand it, mm-hmm. then you're not going to be able to help that yeah. person. But yeah. if you if you understand it and get you've uh, Know that you're struggling with it. Mm-hmm. It's easy for you to even offer help because you've understood what helps looks looks, looks like. like oh, yeah. Nice. You know, yeah. you've mentioned September <coughs> is mm-hmm. said. Yeah, I think prevention, prevention month. month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was I think I don't know if it was two years ago. There's a pastor in the states. Yeah. Do you remember that? Story? Like he took his life. Mm. Mm-hmm. And not everyone is like he's a pastor. He's a pastor. You know Jesus. So when now people are looking in, they're like, but. Doesn't Jesus it, it looks like it's such yeah. a big drift yeah. from so what you know what and you know, what yeah. you're doing. Mm-hmm. So where is the balance of realizing that it's okay? You know, people don't ad- admit they're going through mental health yeah, issues because mm-hmm. now you feel like you're showing the world that Jesus isn't enough. Like, shouldn't he be enough for you? You're a pastor. Mm-hmm. You're always spending time mm-hmm. with God. Like, so how are you now saying that you're battling mental this issue? Health yeah, issue. So I know it brought such an issue at that time where everyone was like, how now? So yeah. I think what people need to understand is that mm-hmm. Mental illness is just like an illness like malaria. Mm -hmm. That any of us can be in it. Okay, so does it mean the people who died of cancer Mm -hmm. eh, did not know God? Yeah, They knew Mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. But it's just that illness took over. But this was, even when I think of them, it's sad that they can take their life. Yeah. Um... But you can think about it, it's more of the finding rest yeah. in Jesus. Okay? It's not the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think it's, it's let, let me just say, it's anyone can yeah. struggle with it. Yeah. It's illness. It's illness. Okay? Yeah. It's not, it's not, uh, it, <laughs> there's a term. But, okay, let me just say, it's illness that mm-hmm. we all of us have. Yeah. Okay? And so we need to know how to address it. Mm-hmm. And if it's addressed well, someone, mm-hmm. the people who've managed it for yeah. years. Mm-hmm. I was having a conversation with a friend and he said, yeah, he knows someone who has managed it over 30 years. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Meaning they found the best way. Yes, Jesus was there, mm-hmm. but they found help mm-hmm. in Jesus, but also finding help in a profession mm-hmm. to walk with them mm-hmm. through the... The problem is sometimes we say, yes, Jesus is the helper, but I don't want to... Let me keep myself. It's the same way. Mm-hmm. If you're sick, yeah. you pray, 
Then but you go, go to go hospital. the hospital. Yeah. Okay, you can't yeah. just say, me, I'm praying yeah. Jesus to come and you're not doing anything. Well, Atta will actually tell you that yeah. you're not okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you get. So, yeah. and um, I'm also thinking again, is when something like that is happening, uh, there's a place of vulnerability between your friends and I'm thinking, then mm. where, where are your friends playing, Where what part are they playing in mm. your life? Mm. Uh, because if I'm a friend, I'm a true friend, mm. I'll know if you're struggling. I'll know because I spend time with you. Mm. Uh, it's not like a, ch- a church setting where yeah. you only spend time with people for two hours. Yeah. Service, but yeah. if if you're friends, I know when you've not called, there's mm. a problem. Yeah. Like, I've not seen your call for a long time. Yeah. So even friends have a p- part to play and call out someone and say, hey, I see this and this. Mm. Can we do can we go find help or can we figure out what this is? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Not living in a bubble. Okay? Because yes, Jesus loves us. He cares for us. Yes. He wants the best for yeah. us. But now, after he's giving us all these promises, then there's something we need to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause uh, um, someone was just mentioning how you know when your hand breaks you know mm. mental illness is a lot of shame in that illness yeah. mm-hmm. but when your hand breaks you don't start saying oh I'm so ashamed mm. that my hand is broken and now mental illness sometimes the mind breaks there's mm. some that break so it's oh, us yeah. just realizing that there should not be any shame just the same way we'd be like hey Ebu, go check, get your hand mm. checked because mm. there's something wrong so it's the same way we should just really tell someone just go and see someone just to see if and you need okay. to we need yeah. to embrace Embr- each other yeah those because when someone yeah. think about when someone breaks the hand mm-hmm. it's easy for you to take them to go to, be there for them yeah. 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 but when someone says yeah i'm, I'm struggling with the mental health yeah. you're yes, like kwanza unaanza kusema yeah. <laughs> yeah. so we've yeah. we've demonized yeah. it We've actually yeah. demonized yeah. it and not looking at it from a place of it's just illness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just a struggle like any other. other. Yeah. Yeah. But which also has it like this help if mm. someone can find it. Yes. Yeah. As, as we're just talking, I can I can see how much I'm battling with the with the notion that we always have that but mental health ni his or V2, mm. you know. <laughs> yeah. so you, you said that word <laughs> that you did not want to say, so you've said the word. What you say? Me and I are from Islands. So coming, coming from Islands, moving to this side of Uruguay. Mm. <laughs> this other side. This, this other, other side of Uruguay. Then someone, I never used to understand it. I was yeah. like, hey, what are you going to say? Is it is this is a mtu uko nimetoka because uko na feel islands ni hard knock wewe usipokuwa hard shauri yako so and then i realized in fact even us was just struggling it's just that we never had a word for it yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we, never had, we never had a name for it. Yeah, struggle. we were like, we, if you look yeah. at it, you're just going, maybe yours was different yeah. uh, you, mm. because it had more Sheng, mm-hmm. but this other one has more English. Mm-hmm. So and, that's but why. You're still, yeah. yeah. You know, same struggle. Same yeah. struggle. That's true. Yeah. yeah, so I was just thinking about that and maybe how can youth workers create a more supportive environment yeah. that now as we are seated here, I'm able to come and say, uh, this week has been hard, this and this has been happening. And like what Ruth has said, just like the way your hand can break, mm. your mind can also break. Mm. So how can youth workers be very intentional about creating such spaces? Yeah. You know the story in the Bible where these friends had, there's a guy in a, in a stretcher, mm. and then like he wanted to yeah. see Jesus. Mm, like yeah. He knew that if I find Jesus, if I see Jesus, yeah. then I'll be healed. Mm-hmm. And these friends did everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. that so that he can see Jesus. Mm-hmm. They even they even had to remove a roof. Yeah. Think about it, and I think that's the environment we need to create mm. with uh, like youth workers. Yeah. Okay. And I'm always challenging people and telling them uh, the big question I ask is who are the four friends mm. okay. you can always rely on who are in the same either same circle you're in mm. or even in different fields, yeah. but you can call them and they'll be there mm. for you to see Jesus. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because if these guys can hold your stretcher mm-hmm. to the end. Eh, then you don't you what you know is that you're not battling it by yourself mm. you have people around yeah. you like a support system yeah. so the only way to create that support system is one identify the people around you who want the best for you mm. who can call you out who can and when something is going on wrong they can say something is wrong and mm. we need to talk about this mm. okay and they can even point you to to see someone a professional to get professional help which i think is very rare and even for for us youth workers we need to get to a place of when someone tells us this mm. we don't shut them out okay mm-hmm. because it has to start with me wanting the help mm. for me to get it yeah okay mm. so and i know every youth worker has people around them eh? people they can trust mm-hmm. i have i've made it a point where the youth workers i meet with mm-hmm. and we don't talk about just ministry mm. 
Okay? We talk about everything. From the big question we usually ask ourselves is, how do you feel? Mm. Because if I ask you, how, how are you? You will lie to me. Mm. You will tell me, it's, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Yeah. So I even ask you, how do you feel? Yeah. Then it, it gets to your feelings. This is yeah. a, now I have to talk about if mm. I'm happy, mm. sad, yeah. angry. Why? Nice then now we talk about why. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Nice. And then now, bring all these things. Because it's so easy for someone to sh- bring up a message on Sunday, mm-hmm. give all the good jokes, yeah. But go home crying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Now, if you don't have a place where you can sit around and talk about your sadness, yeah. your pain, oh, yeah. and all those things, mm. then where are you hand, uh, handing to? <laughs> <laughs> guys, <laughs> is the people I'm hanging out with, guys. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Okay, yeah. No. We are handing. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. So where are you heading? Mm-hmm. Where are you heading to? Yeah. Okay. Is is more like it's downhill. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. need to get that space. Mm-hmm. Okay. And be intentional about it. See it to kuna naga sale kuna noma. It is like noma ndoko aye. Hapa no mafikia. No no no. Let's meet even when things are good. Mm. Let's talk about the good times. Mm. Let's talk about when things are bad. Mm. Yeah? So mm. the big question is even for you yeah. who are you for? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just so it it's just brought a beautiful perspective of one of the ways that we can support each other through this journey is creating uh, intentional and authentic community. Yeah. Yeah. Such intention that it's not just we don't come together when something bad has happened, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but we mm-hmm. also sit and we share our joys. Today mm-hmm. I did this and it made me happy. So mm-hmm. that now... And we celebrate those joys. Yeah. 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 So that the day it will be this happened and my heart broke, mm. it's with the same weight and the same amount of love that we are still embracing mm. each other. Mm. And that's that's very, very important. I wanted to ask, um, as we are saying, who who is your for? What, what, I don't know how to ask it, but how do we support each other when I'm not okay mm-hmm. and you're not okay? With, uh, there's uh, when you're four, there's two people who are okay. <laughs> 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 like how, then, how how like, do we uh, how do we? <laughs> how I don't know if yeah 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 I get you I get you so I get you but yeah how do no, we no, support? No, no, but how how do you help? Like when two of you are struggling, yeah. eh, how yeah. do you help each other? Yeah. I think one is also to remind yourself that um, even when they're bad, again, coming together and talking about it. Okay? Because you cannot, you, you cannot act like uh, mm-hmm. okay? talking about these things and then also praying together. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, because I think one of the things I believe, not think, I believe, is that Jesus heals our heart, mm. okay? Even in those seasons that we don't want him to heal them, mm. okay? Mm. So when we come together and pray together, uh, this is actually, it's more of an agreement and saying, both of us need help. We can't help each other, mm-hmm. but we're inviting God now come on. Yeah, to, to come, come. Yeah. and speak to our hearts and mend our hearts mm. and make us whole, yeah. mm-hmm. okay? Because you cannot find healing while you've minus to Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, there has to be this. You know that plus has to be there. Mm-hmm. Jesus is the is the addition. In mm-hmm. fact, he's the first one, even that you go to every time. But uh, so that's the pl- first place I'll run to in, t- in terms of when mm-hmm. both of us are yeah, struggling. struggling. Okay, but also just be there to encourage one mm-hmm. another. Okay, um, and finding again, you know, the circle has to be growing. Yeah. There, that yeah, I trust you, but again, we can't deal with this. Now be, yeah. Okay, even if it's both of you going for therapy or mm-hmm. going f- to see a professional together. Mm-hmm. Okay, both of you are in the space of healing you're mm. in the journey of healing yeah. so that takes okay and it's not you know this thing for it when you hear uh, ask for professional help everyone is like eh nienda tu nikaivi chini na bia you see even this one now is therapy yeah yeah, yeah. 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 as you're talking yeah just talking okay yeah. so yeah. sometimes it's not just about it to mtu mashida zako it's just talking and letting yeah. it out yeah. yeah and i think you know when scripture says they confess your sins one and to another mm-hmm. it was the lord just maybe telling us have spaces where you can talk about the things that you're struggling with the mm-hmm. most. Like yeah. The enemy, he he, he thrives, thrives in secrets. In mm-hmm. Like, but you just keep it to yourself. Uh, no one needs Isolation, to know what yeah. you're doing. He thrives in that, and he now can make you get into your head and just make it deeper and mm. like just what you're going through. Mm-hmm. So I think what we're just telling Paul is create that community. Create that have, community. Be intentional also for you to be there mm-hmm. for others. Think about it. Yeah. Even Jesus, when he was about to go on the cross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He had he had his circle. Yeah, he had yeah. the three. The three who yeah. he, you know, he that went. He, this guy is new. Yeah. Even yeah. this guy is hurting. Yeah. Okay. 
God you get it. Say, yeah. So who are we mm-hmm. to God. think that I we think can be? I think that's that's yeah. a really good point. Yeah. That yeah. Who, can, who are yeah, who, that you don't who, think, think you, that you don't need help? Yeah. 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 So you you can imagine what mm. he was just showing us is human side where mm. this is what will, all of us will go through this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But when you have the people around you mm-hmm. who can pray for you even yes. when they don't understand what's yeah, going on. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. But they but they can also see when you're not okay and come to you and ask you those questions. Yeah. Wow. And hey. True. And one can chase away a thousand mm-hmm. and two can chase away like ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Like that just goes yeah. to show the power of coming together. And so what would you advise? Maybe some of the resources that are out here to help. Because you said like we're in a then age of information, but mm-hmm. someone can be watching and like, okay, so what are the resources? Or what can I do like practical steps and tips to take care of my mental health? And what are the and available care. resources that maybe are out there? Some of them that you know. I know you said something about a uh, I think a, you, test. a, a test a will maybe we'll get the link. In fact, yeah. I remember it's yeah. Chiromo. Chiromo okay. have mm. the uh, and it's you can also it's just a scan uh, you scan it and then get there. Oh, we'll try and get yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. So the QR code and then you scan it, get mm-hmm. all those details, do an exam. It's a short, it's a like a five five minute or less mm. exam you do and then the you same get your results. People do five love languages. Yes, yeah. five and five also take the yeah. Yeah. Test. So you know so yeah. how you do other things, but um, me for me is like take care of yourself. Okay. Your mm-hmm space like mentally take care of yourself mm. find things that um remove you from whatever you're thinking about mm. like for instance for me i'll do i'll i'll do my uh i'll ride my bike mm-hmm. go to the gym mm. those are some of the things that okay. free me off from the different things mm-hmm. yeah? so so after you've done the test you've known where you are identify things that you enjoy doing mm. because one of the things about when you're in this space you realize you don't the things you enjoy to doing you stop doing them yeah okay true. you start true. thinking hey me i'm just here and for you the workers you'll just be like i need to deliver someone i need to visit this young person mm. i need to so you're keeping yourself busy but yeah. you're not dealing with the thing and taking care of yourself Obviously. so do things that matter to you okay mm-hmm. where you create time to spend time with yourself mm. eh? and enjoy the different things so yeah. if it's working out if it's things that get you exhausted mm. that mm-hmm. you end up finding s- sleep eh? because again people don't sleep when you, you yeah. just find yourself looking and then you now we made at insomnia things <laughs> you made it look normal yeah. Eh? Yeah. i see it's people typing and saying insomnia yeah. i'm like guys it's not normal yeah. it's not normal it's my not guys eh? sleep is for you yeah. okay so but just finding those balances mm. eh? so resources um there are, i know there are different forums that happen around the even our country now okay. to uh, to create this awareness and created spaces i personally run a, uh, it's called menless talk mm. so it's a men's space where oh, we just wow. come and talk nice. okay just yeah. get to know how you're doing how can we handle this yeah. uh, tackle things to do with uh, laws is of disorder oh, oh. okay mm. just to to show you these uh, there are safer spaces that you okay. can actually come and talk mm. and i know ladies have many even than men mm. Eh? Mm. so ukitpa kama wewe ni mtu unapenda kwenda salon uongee tu pia enda salon kama yeah it's just a yeah unajua unajua kitambo unajua kinyozi tukienda wanaume tunataka tu kwenda kulala kinyozi ukienda pia lala tu lakini find spaces where you can let go of yeah, these things true yeah. wow oh, nice. that's that's really um i like what you've said about being self aware just have a journey of knowing yourself because that will help you now even be able to take care of people better uh, and you can never pour from an empty cup so mm. you need to fill your cup first so that they ca- people can be able okay. to uh, feed off of you as a youth minister mm. and maybe just as we conclude what would you like to tell that youth worker that is maybe struggling and and they're maybe even struggling to create that community mm. they're just struggling to say okay sawa pastor deck you've said i need to create a good community mm-hmm. but i'm struggling with this too i'm st- I'm, I'm depressed i I'm, I'm showing up every day but my heart is so heavy you know i'm talking to jesus but wha- what would you tell that young youth worker i think everyone you're not an island you had friends before mm-hmm. <laughs> okay mm-hmm. you had friends who know you who where uh, sunday is not just Sunday is for your congregation, mm. but you have people who know you deep, like deeply. These are the people I'd ask you to reach out to, okay, okay? and bring them closer and just have a conversation with them. Okay. Like this is how I genuinely feel, mm. okay? Because sometimes you fear, and especially as a youth workers or you're serving, uh, you fear people looking at you differently mm-hmm. and thinking, eh, that's what I said. Mm. Okay, so look for people who know you even bef- knew or knew you even before you, you mm. got the title, mm. eh, pastor, youth worker, or mm. whatever. Reverend. Okay, mm. reverend. Mm. Okay, but look for these people because with them, then you're able to speak freely yeah. and be yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, uh, the other thing uh, you can do. 
uh, which I know it's not easy, is even just taking a break. Mm-hmm. Just taking mm-hmm. a break from even speaking. And I uh, love what my senior pastor says. is like, take a break. If mm. you know you're not mentally okay, mm. just take a break from preaching. Mm. Take it to step away yeah. and allow God to refresh you. Yeah. And as you're stepping away, look for, uh, don't send a counselor like a church. Na jo ni mchipa. Lakini, tafuta mtu mwingine kando, counselor mwingine, eh, mwenye, ata kujudge kama pastor wake. Okay, mm. okay. okay. Yeah, 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 in that context. In that context. Siya tujua ni, ah, ni ata kujudge kama pastor. Ata kusikiza, you're able to speak and be free with this person. Okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, we're not alone. Yeah. I think mm. that's a really great takeaway mm. that you're not alone. And Nainet, Nainet at least tries to create this forum. Yeah. yeah. So if you go to Nainet conference or advanced conference advanced. And, you, and you don't find the people around, labda sasa inafa co-intentional. How to share with the community zao, oh, like yeah. around them. So that's but, probably... That's yeah, probably. but I really loved what we did in this year's advance where we had counselors part of the conference. Yeah. We had the tent where people could go and speak to counselors, mm. which was such... a also, us just coming to the place of understanding that mental health is something that we, th- it's a conversation that all of us need to be having, yeah. which was us. a really good mm. thing. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That was really nice. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey Pastor thank you. Thank, you, thank, thank you. you. thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of this Anything you'd want to say about, like, this is Suicide Awareness Month. Uh, any message you'd want to share? Um, any message? Please don't deal alone. Mm. Mm. Look for the nearest person you can share this with. Uh, yeah. Know that you've lost value. You're still valuable. Okay. God loves you. Mm-hmm. And you still have something to bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Okay? And that's to share God's word. Mm-hmm. So if you take your life now, someone might miss out on the opportunity to hear what God had put in your heart. Mm-hmm. So look for help. Find help. It doesn't show that you're weak. It actually shows that you're strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you want help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you like to pray for just... Yeah, just... Mm. Just send out a prayer for yeah. someone. Ah, like <laughs> uh, but Father, thank you so much for ready and rooted for this piece that we can highlight this conversations that most of us fear speaking about. Mm. Father, I thank you for the youth workers out here, and I know it's not easy um, because there are so many challenges, and yet the world expects us to be in, s- in a particular way. But Lord, I pray for these youth workers, myself included. The Lord, would you show us the people that we need to talk to and be open to about our struggles and different things that we're going through, our pain and our heart. Uh, and Lord, would not be judged because, Lord, in you there's fullness of joy, in you there's peace, and that, Lord, this is what they will find. Father, I pray that uh, even as we speak to one another, that, Lord, would we speak to one another with love and care because we don't know what the other person is carrying. Would we be sensitive? And I pray for that person who probably is about to give up. The Lord, would you encourage them and remind them that, Lord, you love them so much and that's why you're willing to let your son die or that's the reason why he died mm. for their sin and for my sin. So, Father, I pray for all of us that, Lord, would you minister to our hearts. Mm. At this time, would you receive the glory and the honor that you deserve mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Nashkuru. And we also. Namonde letu vika zimzuri. Kazi safi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na wataduku nune pale kwa screen. Namonde letu vika. Yeah, yeah. Msiongeza mtu mungine. Wow, wow. But there's, there's, there might be a surprise. Come in, come in. But guys, we also want to thank you guys for joining yeah. the conversation, mm. being part of this journey. Please remember to like, share, join the family. Nainet also has different platforms. We'll share all of them on the screen that you can join and plug into a community. So, yes. uh, hey, anything about the space? Yes, and we shot this podcast at the amazing studios of mm. Kuza. Mm. So please feel free to also follow Kuza on all social media platforms so that we can grow together. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a lovely time and God bless you. Bye.